So I just thought about this very fun question for you guys. We are going to find out which is bigger, sine or sin pi. Well, what I'm trying to say is we have sine of the number e, and this is sine of the number pi. E is the special number over there, which is approximately 2.718. And let me write that down right here for you guys. Meanwhile, pi, of course, we know that's about 3.14. Hmm. Okay. Notice that there's no degree symbol, so these right here are measured in radians. Can we really say because pi is bigger than e, so this is bigger than that? No. In fact, the answer is sine of e is bigger. And to see why that is the case, the best way for us to do so is to look at the unit circle. So let's have a look. I'll draw the unit circle right here. We'll make a unit ellipse, something like that. Anyways, this is the unit circle because I said so. And on the unit circle, sine is the y value. And remember, this is how we measure. Here we have zero radians. It's the same as zero degrees. Right here is 90 degrees, or pi over 2 radians. Right here, we have the 180, which is the pi radians. On the unit circle right here, this coordinate is negative 1, comma, 0. This negative 1 tells us the cosine of the angle pi, so cosine pi is equal to negative 1. And this right here tells us about the sine of pi, which is going to give us 0. This right here is just equal to 0. Now, let me just write this down real quick. Pi is equal to 180 degrees. And to make it study more clear, you can say this is pi radian, but you don't need to write that down in order to say yeah, for the radian, you don't have to write down RAD every single time. Let's talk about the E radian. So how big is E rad? Oh, that sounds so cool. Hmm. What we are going to do is we will just have to kind of convert that into degrees. And to do so, because we know this, I will just multiply by 180 degrees over pi rad. And the rad cancel. Ooh. And then just go ahead and use the calculator, and this right here will tell us E rad is approximately, work this out, we get 155.75 degrees. The reason I convert this into degrees is so that we know how much to turn. And of course, you can also look at this as E being 2.718, so it must be uh, before the pi, right? because from here to here is 3.14 radian. But if we have 155.75 degrees, I know that much better. From here to here is 90, and then we have to go 60 more, so it will be somewhere right here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you guys have seen this before. I haven't, because I just thought about it like this. Rotate E rad, which is about 155.75 degrees. Anyways, though, right here, this coordinate, I have no idea what it is. I can only tell you it will be cosine of this angle, which is E, comma, sine of E. And as you can see, sine E is higher than sine pi because it has a higher y value. It's positive at least. So this right here, it's bigger than that. In fact, I can also tell you, if you look at the cosine, cosine e, let me just write this down, cosine e, this right here is toward the right. This right here is actually bigger than cosine pi as well. Look. Because it's more to the right and it has a bigger x values. Yeah, just like that. Pretty cool, huh?